Well, welcome back everybody to uh, the X Fizz Guy. I know I have been away for a long time since I think probably around the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I've been wanting to get back in to do some of these videos for everybody and just really have been dropping the ball on it. But I'm coming back today. I've had a lot of requests actually to finish up the ACSM metabolic equations. I don't know if you can see this top part up here. This just the title, the ACSM leg cycling equation. Now, I have the base equation written out here. So it's always gonna be VO2 equals 1.8. That's a, hold on my cameras. There we go. It's gonna focus in a bit here. We've gone, we've gone a little blurry. All right, there we are, I think we're back. Sorry about that, folks. It's always gonna be 1.8, that's, that's a constant number, that's not going to change. Um, and then plus, or um, times, so this is 1.8 multiplied by the work rate divided by the body weight. Now, this is in parentheses because this little piece of arithmetic here should be done first. You should divide the work rate by the body weight, then multiply that by 1.8, and then add the 3.5. Now remember the 3.5, this is, this is represented of resting VO2, which we always, uh, we always uh, measure at three and a half milliliters per kilogram per minute, and that's of oxygen. So that's always going to be a constant, and if you see 3.5, you know that's representative of resting um, resting VO2, resting uh, VO2 consumption. So a couple things you need before you can even do the equation. Uh, you're going to need to know the work rate and you're going to need to know the body weight. Those are really the only two things you need. However, there are two caveats. If you can see, this area over here, okay, WR is work rate. The work rate must be in what we call kilogram meters per minute, which you may see represented as either this here, or you may see it in kg slash m slash per minute. Those are the same thing. So however you see them, but it must be in that format. You might have a situation where a question or a case study says individual A was cycling at 100 watts. You can't plug in watts here, it has to be in kilogram meters per minute. And I will show you how to convert those in just a minute. But let's, let's assume that they're going to give us the work rate in kilogram meters per minute. Let's just say we have a, uh, well let's say we have a 60 kilogram male. Okay, so we have 60 kilograms right here. Um, let me see if I can erase that and make that a little bit better so that everybody can see because I know my camera is not cooperating today. 60 kilogram individual who is, let's see, um, currently at 612 kgm per minute on the cycle. Well, that we really have all the information that we need right there. So let me come over here, okay? We have all the information we need right here to do it. We have our kilograms, our body weight, and we have our work rate. So what I would do now at this point is basically rewrite the equation, VO2 equals 1.8 times 612, divided by 60, and then plus 3.5. So you can see there, all I've done is rewritten the equation with my known variables in there. And that just kind of helps keep everything organized. And now that we have those known variables, we can just go right ahead and um, we can go right ahead and, and do our math, right? So we're over here, all right, and we can just do it in steps. I'm gonna give us a little bit 
better view here. So we can just do it in steps. And the very first thing I would do is 612 divided by 60. Okay, that's gonna come out to 10.2. All right, so now I'm gonna rewrite my equation again. Now, it's tedious, yes, but it keeps everything organized. And honestly, when I was going through school, learning how to do math, this was how it was taught to me. That's all we're gonna say about that. Now we have our equation. Now it's just order of operations. So all we have to do is this 1.8 times 10.2. So again, I'm gonna do that first. This comes out to 18.36 plus 3.5. And that's, ju that's just order of operations right there. So our VO2 comes out to 21.86. Now, another important area here that I'm very um, strict about with uh, my students when we when we do the when we do the math, especially if we are doing anything that has values. Okay, always put your value here: milliliters per kilogram per minute. That's all you have to do for ACSM leg cycling. Now, keep in mind a couple things. We must have our work rate in kilogram meters per minute. Let me zoom back out and let me show you that. Okay, there it is at the top up there. So we must be in kilogram meters per minute and the body weight must be in kilograms. Now again, I'll give you, we'll do a situation next where we don't have the variables in these two formats. All right, the only other format you're really gonna see is um, watts and then pounds. Very rarely will someone list newtons. Uh, I will do another video where we talk about that as well. Third thing to keep in mind, this down here, where we got to our 21.86 uh, milliliters per kilogram per minute, keep in mind, there we are right there, keep in mind that that is representing the VO2 only at this work rate, the 60 kilograms and the 612 kgm per minute. So that's only at that work rate. So if the work rate goes up, you have to recalculate. Now, if say for instance, this work rate was going to stay the same over 30 minutes, then you could go in and you could use, um, you could convert this into an absolute measurement and you could use this work rate to estimate the number of calories that might be expelled during this session, um, which we'll go ahead and do right now, actually. Um, but I'll give, uh, I'll zoom out again and I'll give a couple minutes um, if folks are watching this and really only want that part and aren't going to look at the caloric expenditure part, um, then you can go ahead and uh, sort of write down what you see there. I hope it's pretty visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over uh, to this area here. I'm going to erase this real quick just to give us some room. And I will rewrite up here what our givens were, which was 612 and 60. Now, when we're converting to an absolute measurement, Knowing the body weight is crucial. We must know the body weight and it must be in kilograms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our 21.86. This, by the way, is what we call a relative representation of VO2, a relative representation. I'm going to take this. Now, this will work when you're converting any relative VO2 into an absolute. Take the relative VO2 multiply it by the body weight in kilograms, in kilograms. So bring this number, okay? And that's going to give you 
311.6. Um, and you should, you should always come out with a number that's really probably anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000. That's how you know you've, you've, you've done it right. Because then essentially what you're going to do after that is you're going to divide this number by a thousand, okay? Because now what we've done here, this is milliliters per kilogram per minute. This is milliliters per minute. All right, so let me zoom in, let me show you that. Let's see what we've done here. All right, so we've taken our milliliters per kilogram per minute and we've converted it to milliliters per minute. I'll even put the values there. There are a thousand milliliters in one liter. That's where we need to get to is the liters. 1.3116 liters per minute. This, this and this number are both absolute representations of VO2, but we need to be in liters per minute if we want to do a caloric expenditure um, estimation. And the reason why we do that is because we measure the amount of oxygen consumption in liters and we translate that into a caloric expenditure. So we, we in, in the field have an accepted rate that um, one, for every one liter of oxygen that we consume, not that we breathe in because the amount that we breathe in and the amount that we actually consume are different. But for every five, for every um, liter, every one liter, is five kilocalories that has been uh, converted into heat and energy, all right? So what we would do is we would take this number, this 1.3116, and we would multiply that by five. And what that does is that gives us our caloric expenditure um, basically per minute, 6.558 kilocalories per minute. All right, are we able to see that up there? I think we are. Let me go, we'll move it a little bit. So to recap, we took the relative VO2, 21.86, we multiplied that by the body weight in kilograms. That gave us an absolute representation of 1311.6 milliliters per minute. We then divided this by a thousand, since there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. Then we got to 1.3116 liters per minute. It's an accepted standard that for every one liter of oxygen that is consumed, so for, for every VO2 that is one, one liter, that's five kilocalories that we've converted. We've taken that O2 and we've converted it into heat as energy, essentially. So what we can do is we take this number, what their absolute VO2 is at that time, multiply it by five, and that's what will give us kilocalories per minute. 6.558 in this scenario. So now you know the caloric expenditure per minute, assuming that the body weight remains 60 kilograms. All right, let me zoom back out, give you the whole picture. Assuming that the body weight remains 60 kilograms and the work rate remains 612 kgms per minute. So if we go back to the original example, if we have 6.558, 558 kilocalories per minute at this work rate, 612 and a 60 kilogram individual, take this 6.558 and multiply it by how long that individual was in that workload. So if it was 30 minutes, just put 30 minutes right there and the multiplication and that will give us a, an estimated caloric expenditure. 196.74 okay so a uh, little bit sort of long-winded sorry 
um, ACSM leg cycling equation. Uh, again, those of you who are going to be taking the exam, this, this part up here, okay, the 1.8 times work rate, all that, you don't have to memorize that. That will be given to you. However, what will not be given to you is any conversion factors. So they're going to assume that you know how to get watts, for example, into kilogram meters per minute, and they're going to assume that you know how to get body weight in pounds into kilograms, uh, which I'll do in the, um, in the next example of the ACSM leg cycling equation if the information is not already given to you in the format that we need. All right, that's our leg cycling equation. There we are uh, in full with uh, caloric expenditure um, included. All right.